The show, Margaret Thatcher's former aide, is now vowing to take the case to federal court. This is what he told us exclusively tonight. Heritage Foundation has called on the Biden administration to release Prince Harry's immigration records in light of his extensive drug use. The Department of Homeland Security's attempts to stonewall our freedom of information request are outrageous and unacceptable, and we will be contesting their position. We will continue to fight every step of this case in United States federal court and will press for transparency and accountability. The release of Prince Harry's U.S. immigration records will ultimately be decided in federal court by a federal judge. We are determined to win our court battle on an important issue that matters to the American people, the application and enforcement of America's immigration laws without fear or favor. If Prince Harry has nothing to hide, he should support the release of his immigration papers. Thank you. Well, look, Niall's a really great man, and Alison Pierce and I had a conversation with him last night. He's actually convinced that once this gets to federal court, they will have to release the documentation. But it seems pretty clear to me that this is Biden looking after Harry, and Harry should be very worried if Trump ends up back in the White House because they think he might be on the first plane out. <laughs> Well, look, I'm, I'm a bit biased about this because I think anything that keeps Harry and Meghan in California is a good thing. <laughs> 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 I think we could probably crowdfund a sort of, you know, an attempt to, you know, they're so poor and struggling down with all their problems. So we could probably send them, send them a bit of cash and say, yeah. you stay where you are, you're good loves, you know. But uh, Sean, this is so aggravating, though, because the US is so strict on mere mortals when it comes to drug use. If, if, if you have even uh, got text messages on your phone, for example, and a, a customs officer looks through it, you can be booted for good. You get no second chance. He's admitted it. He's boasted about taking illegal drugs. And I don't believe he put it on his form. My response to this is leave him to it. Imagine it was the other way round and somebody coming to this country and somebody from out was telling us we should do whatever about them. We tell them to jog on. So I think we should leave them to Someone it. Someone that was going to bring loot but the money. most, But the most important thing is why this is important, because imagine you're applying to get into the States now and you have those drug offences on your form. The first thing you do when you get your court case is say, well... His form's headed and he's in there, so I'll be mm. getting a house in California next door to him. The, this is a real problem for, for the uh, American administration. They cannot have one rule for Prince Harry and a different rule for somebody else because that will cause them serious legal pain. So I think actually we'll end up in court and he will lose. And this is exactly why Harry cozied up to the Biden administration, isn't it, Amy? He expects and demands special treatment. And by the way, that's why he hates our conservative government, because he asked for special treatment and he didn't get it. I think that was some impressive mental gymnastics. Even no, it's just a fact. Standards. It's just a fact. Um, I'm not going to engage with this story because that Heritage Foundation, they just want attention and they need to get a life, basically. Cause that you do know they are a brilliant organisation. Well, then can they prove it otherwise? Because for me, losers. Like, why? Well, why, if, why? If it's about attention, they, 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 they're dealing with two experts in is, attention is, seeking. Is, is, so, that, yeah. is yeah. that... That's fine. That's yeah. fine. We've got to make a living. As, but, every, <laughs> as everybody knows, um, American border staff are absolutely terrifying. Yeah. So how he's got away with this is a lovely a story I love. The late, great Peter Ustinov filled in the form going into America and they asked... Are you here or have you are you here to commit acts of terrorism? And Peter Ostinov wrote as a joke, no other purpose for visit. <laughs> Basically they just sort of, you know, as well. arre arrested him. Yeah, but Harry, oh, Harry. I take all sorts of drugs and it's totally fine. Alison Pearson, Sean Bailey, Amy Nakal, my superstar.